Hey guys, it's Angel right here and I have a finish which is Autumn Glory by Adrienne Hunter. Wow, my first landscape and it was such a joy to work with. So yeah, I'm really happy that I have completed it. And I must say, I do love landscapes, especially this type of art and my favourite season, which is autumn, um, fall. So I'm glad I got this done um, just before we hit December, which is classified as winter then. Um, so, yeah, I did it on Black Friday as well. So <laughs> literally an hour before the uh, Diamond Art Club Black Friday uh, uh, Diamond release. So as soon as I finished that up, I was watching a live and then boom. Yeah, had to buy some more paintings. Anyway, so Autumn Glory. Okay, this was a slow start, so I did say that I, I wasn't going to rush it because I was doing two other paintings which was the Light Weaver recap and um, Moon Lily so yeah uh, I did put some notes in here so yeah I enjoyed this my first landscape this painting does have a meaning as well. It's uh, a place where my dad would have done his fishing. And he, there is a, a similar photo that uh, is uh, on my mum's wall, actually. And it does like have that waterfall effect um, to it. And he's just standing there with his fishing rod. Um, so it is so similar but obviously it's not the same place but you get where I'm coming from so yeah this is definitely going in my art room originally I was going to put this in my living room but uh, the size of it um, is a little bit too big where I want you to put it because I've, I've got to literally I don't frame them and I don't seal diamond art club paintings because they don't need sealing but what i do is yep yeah, duct tape and it's pretty so this is quite like thick so half of that will go on the white part and the other half will go on the wall so uh yeah right so obviously i had the two paintings that i was working with well, I got stuck in the last three weeks so I did start on the 30th of August and finished on the 25th of November so this one had 49 colours and 4 ABs uh, I still have all the drills left I did not run out of any colours I did not have any problems with any drills except for number nine, which is 317. Um, I don't know if you can see, but there's a couple of drills that are stuck together, but not a big issue, not a big issue. I kind of left them last and I would have had to put them in the grinder to gr like pull them apart but uh, yeah not a problem but I thought I might point that out um, but yeah the the drills fit snug no gaps no different sizes it's just perfect so I started from the top left corner here um, and worked across uh, I think I did five rows and six sections so uh, yeah so I got roughly here 
and I kind of stopped for a bit because I wanted to concentrate on the other two uh, paintings that I was entering for Drills and Chills and Festival of Witches. But uh, uh, there's some colour blocking at the top, which is the sky, which is quite nice. And then when you reach to this middle part downwards, you do get the confetti. But the confetti is so worth it. Uh, has it put me off on confetti? No. No, because I, I know when I stand back, you can see the detail. Um, it can be quite daunting. But on the last fourth and fifth row, which is this section here, I did two sections in one go instead of one section. I really wanted to get this finished before end of November and it was a bonus that I literally got this finish a couple hours ago. Um, obviously, yeah, it's a square. And the measurements is 28 by 22 inches or 70.7 centimetres by 55.8 centimetres. Hello, Jet Jet, how are you? Are you saying hello? I know. Come on then. This is Jet Jet. Yeah. I know. It's beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, I really had fun with these colours and autumn is yeah, my vibe. And Abraham Hunter, amazing artist I must say. So the ABs are spot on where the picture is. This blue bit here is a bird. And when you're far away, you can see it. So if you see there, I don't know. Can you see the bird in the tree? My nails are really bad. There's the bird there, that blue bit. So yeah, that was fun. Check, check. I love you, but you've got to move. Right. Uh, usually I'll get to the drills, but I thought I'll show you my accessories. I got through a lot of pens, I must say. <laughs> the reason is um, I like to change my pens because I don't know if you can see on my finger. Um, I used to write a lot as a kid and I got that bump. It is called a, a writer's lump or something. Um, so I got that bump there and sometimes it does hurt over time but at the moment it's not hurting but you know what I mean I get really crammy as well with my hands so yeah anyway so the first pens that I started to use were these uh, this one is from Shimming Canvases it is really pretty then crafted makes with the pine cones both on etsy bisto blanks i love the chunky feel to this i know it don't match the painting but i do love chunky pens i'm starting to love chunky pens so this is quite chunky you can tell from this Diamond Art Club pen. So yeah. Uh, I use this pen for the ABs obviously. Because I've got the AB there. And sometimes this just to like straighten them out. And then recently about. Was it a week or two weeks ago? I can't remember. This one came. Oh my god. Purple. Glittery. But. This was this was amazing. This uh, rainbow multiplacer. Um, I find I found it really comfortable and better than the silver metal tips. It's a different kind of shape though, but they fit really snug the squares. And I definitely can't wait to try it on my rounds. I did have the matching one, but. Um, it was very deep round, but I think that one will be perfect for rounds, not as much as squares, so I'll probably use this for squares. 
so but I found this pen really stunning really comfortable again this is from crafted makes and my tray that I put my pens on from crafted makes yeah I've got to support those small businesses on it see what did I use I use this peach from excuse me designs this is my favorite putty usually I did try it with a multi-placer sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't so I use the diamond art club wax for the multi-placer single placer putty <clears throat> right I'm gonna get stuck into the drills the first a B which is 108 Number two was 103. Number three was 133, orange AB. And the last AB, which is number four, which is 141, obviously. And then straight onto the normal colours, number five was this beautiful 166 very bright lime coloured number six was 168 these will be going into my spares except for number nine i will get to that in a minute number seven was 300 number eight was 301 got quite a lot there so the browns, I'm excited to stock up on the browns because the next canvas I am doing, the next square canvas, because I like to work on two canvases at a time, which is one round and one squared, which is this one. I'll be working on this beauty and there's a lot of browns, so if the cat knocks over the drills or whatever I might have some spares oh and I'll quickly show you the next round that I'm doing uh, is this one so I'll be working on two of these the round and the square so I'm not doing any Christmassy ones guys because them two are going in my living room walls yeah <laughs> right number nine which i told you earlier the drills stuck together so i'm probably gonna put these in the trash so it's no biggie as i said three one seven number ten was a pre three one eight oh sorry guys my nails are really really bad I do apologize um very emic at the moment so I've got a lot of vitamin deficiency when winter comes due to my fibromyalgia so you can really tell it is horrible especially if I get cold my fingers actually go bluey purple color but um the doctors know about it so it's just one of those things that I've got to live with anyway Number 11 was a 3, 2, 1. Beautiful red. Uh, number 12. Uh, 3, 5, 3, which was in the sky. This lovely shade of pink, which was in the clouds. Number 13 was 400. Lovely sets of browns there. 14, uh, 402, number 15 was 413, my legs are going to sleep because I am kind of like sat on the floor in my jammers, <laughs> as you do, 16 is 414, Number 17 
420. Yeah, baby. Uh, number 18 was 453. Number 19, this lovely dark green, was 469. Number 20 was 498, like a darkish red, which was in these little areas here. Absolutely stunning. Uh, number 21 was 606, this really bright red, and I found them dotted in areas just to lift it out like right there 22 was 645 number 23 was 666 number 24 this was on the trees 720 and in the bushes as well, I should say. 25, this is quite still fresh in my head, 740. <laughs> I only just finished this a couple of hours ago, guys. Uh, 26 was, doo -doo, 741. 27 was 742, beautiful yellow. 28 <coughs> was, 832, 29, which is that line across, which is 898. Number 30, 934. Number 31, uh, 935. Number 32, which is 936. It's like when I call the number, I can see the shape. <laughs> number 33 is the T shape. <laughs> 937, this one. Um, 32 was 938, which is that L shape. 35951 again that was in the clouds 36 was 995 and you would find that where the bird was in the tree 37 was 3371 dark brown 38, a lovely shade of pink, which is 3705. Uh, 39 was 3706. Lovely pink there. Number 40 was 3752. And that was there in the middle. Uh, 41 was 37.53 number 42 was 37.70 again in the clouds 43 was 37.76 the path 44 was 37.81 this was literally dotted in everywhere 45, uh, 37, 87, again, confetti areas on that one. 46 was 37, 87, which was F, again, confetti areas on the bottom area. Uh, 47, 3801J was this light pink, which was on the top of the trees here. 48, 38, 26, the ash tag, which is probably mostly in the middle and part of the tree here. Like I know where they go. And finally, the last one, 49, was 38, 56, mostly in the clouds and middle area. So there you have it.
didn't run out of any colours. So as I'm going to keep them for my spare, so I will be kitting down. And I've showed you the next paintings I am going to do, which are all kitted up. Um, so if you want to see photos on the kitted up kits, um, my link tree is on my profile that will take you to all my social platforms, especially my Instagram, which is diamond underscore art underscore Nico. So if you want to see photos of the this painting and the ones that I kit up and while I'm working on plus I like sharing stories every day of other people's uh, whips and finishes as well because I love supporting everybody in the community and I don't expect anything back as long as we're having fun and we're painting and we're enjoying this hobby and we're making friends that's what it should be about guys okay there you go there is your post review all the drills and yeah and nice to show my accessories as well feel free to um uh ask me any questions in my comments i will answer you back so yeah so autumn glory is it in stock i'm afraid at the moment no it's not um it's only been released once so hopefully they will restock this again soon um but you can put your email down and it will notify you as soon as it comes back in stock so if you haven't done a landscape yet this is the one to do your first landscape guys so yeah don't be afraid it is such a joy to work on the colors are vibrant you won't get bored and color blocking at the top and a lot of confetti at the bottom mix it about start from the top do the top row bottom row whatever you want to do whatever you're comfortable with but yeah right that's enough of me mumbling um, stay safe, stay amazing. Happy diamond painting, guys. I love you all. Don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to share. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm going to quickly show you where the painting has gone. Boom. I mean, is that? Can't wait to cover that with sneaky cat and then the fox. I have so many plans, but yeah. We are getting there, peeps. We are getting there. I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs>